you know, we look like a middle class family probably. You know, we have two kids, we have two cars, um, I have a master's degree, um, I have a college education. My husband is a, a, a military veteran. He served two tours of duty, once in the Army National Guard and once in the Navy. He served under Desert Storm and Desert Shield. And yet we're facing being, we're faced with the prospect of moving back into a motel room. My name is Pastor Bill Mann. I run a nonprofit called the uh, House of Joseph. The House of Joseph provides mobility of food products to a network of 520 people in the confines of the city of Chesapeake. The, the needs of the people have uh, really escalated within the last two years. We're, like I said, we're going through an eviction. We've had our electricity cut off. We have a place to live right now, but we just, it just doesn't have electricity. And you know, you, you don't realize how much you take for granted until you go to wash your hair or you go to blow dry your hair. Um, you know, when you go to flip a light switch, you know, or you think, okay, well, oh, I can't cook anything because uh, my microwave's not working because I don't have uh, any electricity. <laughs> We've had to store food at a, a neighbor's house so that it wouldn't go bad. Um, and I've heard people tell stories of their, their electricity being cut off for weeks. And I think, how do they survive? When a child in a family that's been evicted from a home and they want to say it's time for us to go home and then when they realize there's no home to go to they begin to cry and at times they have sought refuge and they're crying and their tears and cried themselves to sleep because they miss a warm comfortable bed but now it may be in a cold car wrapped up in blankets and they're crying yourself to sleep because their little heart hurts. There's no home anymore and they miss it. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable begging, you know, but, but I see people on the street corners and I don't judge them anymore because when you do that, then you take the face off of poverty. You take the face off of the working poor family. And when you don't have a face on it, it's easy, it's easy to shove it onto the rug. When I go to deliver food to the families and individuals each day, I'm praying in my heart for the, those families, those individuals, and hoping that they're okay. And then after that, on my way, driving away, I'm asking God to bless his family. We have a mother and two children that live in a garage with only a door, no windows. It's very dark inside. Um, the children will take and pull the products right out of my hands because they're so happy to receive it. Thankfully, we have never run out of food um, because of places like the House of Blessing and Pastor Bill Mann. Um, they were always there for us. The places like, you know, Pastor Bill's ministry, House of Joseph, they keep the working poor one step away from despair.